Hi everyone, today is December the 1st, 2021, and this is Dr. Fryer, and I'd like to talk to you a little about what is an info pick and what makes a good info pick. I love info picks. I think they are a wonderful project and a wonderful way we can show what we know with media, um, but I think oftentimes we try to put too much text when we make something like a slideshow, and info picks can really help address that. Here's an example of what I think is a good info pic. There's a really large picture, we've got large text, and there's not too much text. An info pic is not just like a PowerPoint or a Google slide uh, slide that you make that has tons of text on it. An info pic is really focused on a particular idea. It's got a large picture and it doesn't have too much text. So uh, one of the things that I've learned that kind of helps us in, the, in identifying what makes a good info pick is to look at bad ones. And so your assignment today uh, in our fifth grade media literacy class is going to be to fix some info picks. So I'm going to just look at the first several of these and we'll talk about why they're bad. Now this one's a great picture, okay, but what's wrong with it? You can't read the text very well, right? So that text color needs to be changed so it contrasts. And since it's on a darker part of the, of the slide, of the color on, the, on this picture, we could probably make it lighter. We could make it yellow. We could make it white. We can make it contrast with the background so it stands out. If you can't find a part of the picture that contrasts well, you can either make the entire text box a contrasting color, like if the text is light, make the background dark, or you can use the highlight color, and I really like to do that. Actually, let me just show you how to do that really quick. We'll select this text box. I don't like this way as well. If you select the whole box, you can use the fill color, and so I'll fill that in with white. That works, right? I can now read it, but I don't like how it, it just it looks. So what I'm going to do instead, select the text box, and I'm going to leave that as a transparent background, but I'm going to highlight the text here and then use the highlight color. And so I can highlight um, with, that, with that custom white. Now that may not look that different, um, but it's a little bit smaller. And anyway, the highlight color is something I like a little better. Okay, what's wrong with this info pick? Well, number one, you can't read any text on it at all. But number two, the image doesn't fill the entire screen. So we're going to want to stretch this so it fills. Oh, and look, there was the text there in the back. It says, never stop exploring. But look how small it is. So even if I make it like white, I've got to make it big so that we can read it. And I'm going to have to move it to a part of the screen where it, it, it doesn't compete against the background. Okay, maybe I could stretch it out a little bit. And I could allow it to fill that way. Okay. There we go. Much, much better. Okay. How about this one? Well, same kind of thing with the color, right? So I've got some choices. I can choose to highlight this and then use a highlight color. So I can highlight in the background. This one, you can see how that's better. If I'd use the um, highlight for the whole text box, it'd just be a ginormous white box. I don't really like that a lot of times as much. Make sure you select the edge of your text box when you're making a change like that. Um, and so I'm going to just choose to use a contrasting text color like yellow. And let's take a look at that. So much better, right? So um, as you make your own info pics, make sure that you don't use too much text. And these are a few tips. Um, use your text box insert your text box on part of the photo that has a solid color. Sometimes you can't, and if the photo like this one is really dark, you won't have to, but this is an example of where I moved the text box to that darker part of the sky that didn't have a lot of things competing in the background, okay? Use a contrasting color for your font, a large font size. Pick an easy to read font, okay? A bad example might be, I'll go ahead and select this. Don't choose something that, um, is just like some super fancy script. I just passed one here, like this, okay? That is not going to be nearly as easy to read, and so you want your info pick to communicate well and, e and easily with people, and so, yeah, have, a, have a, a font that's easy to read. 
um, use a background color or a highlight color, and then you could change the slide background to match your picture if you want to. All right, let me show you an example of a fixed InfoPic uh, and, and how I fixed it and why. So here's the original. This was made by some fifth graders last year, and it talks about joints. This was a review project that they were doing. They said, you know, joints are where two bones meet. They help bones move, which helps the body move. Now, this isn't terrible. Okay, but let's take a look at an, at an updated version, a remixed version, okay? Bones meet at a joint and help us move. See how that is much, much shorter? There's less text, it summarizes the key idea, still a big image, but it's much more concise, and it tells the story, it communicates the idea uh, quicker, all right? So I hope that's helpful to you. Um, I have some links about InfoPix on my website, Show With Media. So you can just go to showwithmedia.com and click InfoPix. Um, and so you can get some resources about InfoPix. A couple places where I have some galleries of InfoPix. Um, I uh, have been making InfoPix for Bible verses for a while, so I have a Flickr page where I've made a whole lot of these. And I've also done this on iCloud, and I do these um, usually a, a few a week. And so um, most of these, hopefully, are good examples. Some of these are pictures I've taken, like that one. A lot of them are pictures from Unsplash, which is a great place to get free pictures that you can use. So I hope that's helpful to you. Good luck. Um, and let me know if you end up making info pics because it's a great way to show what you know with media.